it's a great pleasure to be here today on the Postgres Monitoring Day. And yes, today we'll talk about two great open source and free products. One is Zabbix and another one is Postgres. And um, I may be, for those who are not familiar with the Zabbix, we'll just give you a very, very quick overview of Zabbix. So what is Zabbix? Uh, Zabbix is a universal open source, free and open source enterprise level monitoring solution. So it's basically uh, the system which is able to monitor your IT infrastructure and it is free and it's open source. And actually I see there are lots of uh, similarities between a Zabbix and a Postgres. We, we both are free and open source products. We are kind of enterprise enterprise solutions and we are very, very flexible. So the Postgres is super flexible solution when it comes to the database uh, management systems and Zabbix when it comes to, to, to monitoring. And actually, uh, Zabbix uh, as a product is uh, able to monitor the whole stack of your IT infrastructure. For those who are not familiar with Zabbix, maybe if you came from the Postgres or, or, or database world, I will just give you just a, just a very, very uh, short overview. So Zabbix is able to, to monitor actually uh, everything, starting from the hardware, your servers, your network devices, maybe some IoT devices, up to more high level things like uh, a different services and a different applications, including maybe the database system. So uh, this database system like uh, Microsoft SQL or, 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 uh, or MySQL or Oracle and the Postgres, of course, it's all can be monitored by Zabbix. And actually today there'll be a great talk about, about it and we, we, will, we will talk about it in more detail. So, uh, just uh, follow the Alexandra's talk today. Um, and uh, Zabbix, actually, it, what it does, it just collects data out of different systems, well, including the Postgres, and then it visualizes data. Uh, it will give you just a different graphs uh, so you can see actually some performance, maybe some availability metrics of your, of your applications. Uh, and also Zabbix has a different ways of visualizing data as a geographical maps. So you can see clearly where your systems and services are located if you have any problems, so you, can, you could see it immediately. And of course, um, the, any, uh, well, the kind of the essence of the monitoring tools is, is ability to, uh, to detect problems. Yeah, detect problems as soon as soon as possible. And Zabbix is able not only to detect problems in real time, but also is capable to do anomaly detection and trend prediction. It really helps to basically to detect problems even before they happen, yeah? Uh, not necessarily doing some sort of kind of uh, reactive monitoring. So we have a problem and then we react to the problem, but it's, it's, it's more about proactive monitoring. So we are trying to prevent problems by uh, analyzing data, uh, including some machine learning techniques, so we can we can tell where certain problem could potentially happen. So we can solve it in we can solve it in uh, advance, thus preventing different downtimes or degradation of uh, our uh, services. And of course, alerting and uh, problem remediation. So a problem happened, for example, Zabbix detected the service is down or is about to be down, and Zabbix will basically start to. Uh, alert you. It will. It may uh, give you a message in Microsoft Teams. Maybe after some time, it would. It will just escalate this problem to a higher level. Maybe it will try to restart your server automatically, or it will open a ticket somewhere, and this problem will be will be uh, escalated until it's uh, it is it is uh, fully resolved. So this is just a very very quick and I would say a little bit of naive uh, explanation of Zabbix capabilities. Being a kind of enterprise a monitoring tool, it's much, much more complex and much, much more flexible. But I don't really want to uh, spend your time uh, on, on the Zabbix, um, on Zabbix uh, details uh, right now. Now, just some uh, general thoughts from my side. Why would we use a free and open source software such as a Postgres or a Zabbix? Well, obviously, it's free. Yeah, free. Also, it's open source gives us a tons of freedom. Actually, the freedom to study how software works, freedom to 
understand all the internals, freedom to analyze the source code. And it's also very, very important. And, 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 and obviously, free systems are free, you know, free as a beer. Yeah? So basically, we don't, we don't need to pay anything in order to start using uh, Postgres or, or Zabbix. And, and being a f- open source systems, it it's, 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 it's really give us um, interesting things like uh, a absolutely outstanding level of uh, flexibility. So we may adapt our systems like a Zabbix, if you're talking about monitoring or a Postgres, if you're talking about the uh, database management uh, system to, to very different uh, use cases. And for example, if you look at the Postgres, uh, it's traditionally was a kind of a relational, a relational database engine, but uh, nowadays, uh, thanks to support, for example, of JSON B, uh, it uh, it's also is capable to to store uh, non structured data. Yeah, and it's 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 really a very very powerful combination. And actually, I see ma- so many similarities between how Zabbix is being developed and how Postgres is being developed. So we all pay a very significant attention to the quality, to the quality of uh, the, the product, to, to the features, and we, 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 we both try to think, uh, think long term. But going back to, to free and open source, of course, there is no vendor locking. In many, many, diff- in many cases, the free and open source software um, provides a much better solution than a commercial alternative. Just, uh, just a few examples like Postgres in the database space or Linux as a as a uh, operating system and uh, the access uh, the access to to source code it also gives uh, many many different advantages so zabbix uh, we really we uh, here at zabbix and i personally love postgres very very much uh, it's outstanding product uh, it is uh, super super flexible um, and uh, the good thing about Zabbix is that we use a Postgres as a, as a backend database, all right? So you install Zabbix as, as an option. You may have a Postgres running as a backend database to Zabbix, so it would keep historical information, the time series data. It would keep configuration data on all everything in a Postgres, in a Postgres uh, database. So this is... This is also one of the advantages of, um, of uh, this kind of, kind of collaboration between Zabbix and uh, Postgres. And I would like to also tell a few, few words about the Postgres Pro company, this company which act- actually actively participate in the development of the Postgres uh, product. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think the features like um, HStore, yeah, or uh, the JSON B, and some other features were uh, developed by Postgres Pro engineers. So I, I really, I really enjoy uh, working with the Postgres Pro engineers, and we we really do it. All right, so that's it from my side. Enjoy the meetup. There will be three very interesting talks. From well, one Alexandra and uh, Alexander will also talk about the um, um, Postgres, uh, Postgres SQL, and 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 Arthur at the very end. There will be talk about the the time scale. So yeah, enjoy enjoy the meetup. And well, if you have any questions, so please ask in the chat. I will be very happy to respond. Okay, thank you, thank you very much.